welcome back guys in this video tutorial we'll be talking about ribo switches right so what is ribo switch right and what is the importance of learning ribo switch now ribo switch is an interesting phenomena actually interesting thing that is present in mrna right if you look at the mrna normally this is a structural unit of mrna a specific structural unit of mrna which can bind with small metabolites small molecules very small molecules tiny molecules it can bind with it and not only it can bind it can interact with that molecule and changes the structure of that ribosome accordingly or it can turn on some genes or turn off certain genes upturn binding of those small molecules so ribo switch is a kind of auto regulatory unit present in the mrna now the thing remember in mrna if you look at the mrna structure in any case what we know uh, there is promoter region right and there are downstream genes uh, that will be synthesized different genes are present let's say x y z these are the genes that are present this is the mrna but in case of ribo switch there are particular structures present nearer to promoter segment i mean the mrna is kind of having a secondary and tertiary structure of that mrna it's kind of folded in different way so once it is folding in such a way this mrna because it's single stranded it can uh, pair with itself in different regions so if we look at your structure like this there are certain section let's say this is a promoter section but nearer to that promoter there is a particular region this is the red region that i have drawn here this is the section and let's say another region let's say black which is over here so this is a kind of structure nearer to the promoter that is present now this red structure that i have drawn here this is the structure this is the ribo switch now this is called ribo switch because the thing here is that this ribo switch it is found in mrna it can also be found in rrnas also so this ribo switch is a particular region where small metabolites can bind let's say this is this is small metabolites for a particular it's a glycine for example small metabolites so those small metabolites are present now one of them can bind with this small region so one of them can bind with it so this is nothing but sequence mrna sequence remember ribo switch is nothing extra it is a part of rna it's a rna sequence that is present but it has a very unique ability to interact with certain small molecules or metabolites and in response it can change the structure of the mr uh, structure of certain region of the mrna and as a result the turning on or turning off of certain gene expression because you know promoter is at very close proximity here so if upon binding this glycine what it can do is that sometimes it can turn off the genes all over genes that are present downstream of the promoter or sometimes it can turn on now most of the time it turn off certain type of genes out there okay now here there are two different parts i've drawn here the ribo switch will be combined with this whole red and black region so if i draw it in much more details here if i zoom into that structure we'll have this section of red and the black let's say and the promoter say present here and the genes are in the downstream region now here these are the two different part for a ribo switch the first section is called as aptamer aptamer and the second section is called as the response platform aptamer and response platform now aptamer and response platform combined together make this ribo switch now this aptamer is a segment or section which will bind with small molecule so this aptamer has the affinity to interact with the small molecule and this interaction is rna protein interaction most of the time so it will bind to that molecule once it binds to that molecule small molecule here right once it's bound to that molecule that that transmit a kind of change in this response element section and this response element section slightly changes the secondary conformation of this mrna that, that was present before now by doing so 
it makes this promoter sometimes available for the transcription and sometimes make this promoter unavailable for the transcription. Now most of the time it makes this promoter unavailable for the transcription so turning off all the downstream genes right most of the cases in some cases it may turn on the promoter also. So this is the functionality of the ribo switch it can interact and it can control the expression of gene inside itself. So an mRNA can control the expression of genes itself not by the secretion of R and not by the function of DNA also but itself only. So that is why ribo switch is important that is why it is called ribo switch because it is kind of on and off of the gene expression. So it could be off or it could be on it depends upon uh, the scenario and how this response platform rearrange the thing and makes it happen ok. Now some of the examples of this ribo switch as you uh, and now what is the functionality of this ribo switch the functionality is that auto regulation is that some cases necessary for turning off the metabolite synthesis pathway in some cases or turning on the metabolite synthesis pathway in itself without being responsible for any of the cellular signaling pathway that are coming in because in some cases it is required in prompt action for turning off a gene or turning on a gene and that can be done using this ribo switch machinery without being dependent upon those chemical signaling pathway that are coming from outside right that is one thing. Second thing is that obviously transcription regulation it also helps in the translation regulation because it is found that in a ribosome there are particular section in the mRNA which can fold back and twice and the structure can be varied depending upon this response platform arrangement that can be accessible by ribosome or not. So the mRNA can bind with ribosome or not and, and that is completely dependent on that ribose switch that is present in the mRNA. So that thing helps the translation process to halt for a particular reason right. And another thing another example if I tell you so this is one example of the protein synthesis another example is road independent transcription termination. So in row independent transcription termination we all know that the mRNA that we have that the mRNA it has uh, it needs to form a hairpin like a hairpin loop and that hairpin structure whatever it, it will uh, for us make that hairpin structure that hairpin structure will ultimately help and followed by AT rich sequences finally helps this to dissociate right. Now in this case what it does actually it can make this hairpin structure pretty fast even up even before uh, the production of all those uh, mRNA segments even before the transcription of all those mRNA segment it can form this premature hairpin like structure and can stop the process of RNA transcription there right. So that thing is also being done premature transcription is conducted by ribo switch in some cases where they thought that this mRNA is not required at this context of the cell so we do not need it we do not need the protein will be translated so you do not need that so will, it will halt that process there right and premature transcription occurs. So these things are important and some of the examples of ribo switch that was uh, present here so one of the example I am giving two examples these are the scenario of how ribo switch works and all this now if you look at the examples one of the example is let us say glycine ribo switch that I have drawn here and second is let us say uh, cobalamin ribo switch. So glycine ribo switch is a condition where it controls the I mean synthesis of glycine I mean uh, in not synthesis actually metabolism of glycine mainly not synthesis in this case. The whole metabolism of glycine is de dependent on that glycine ribo switch that is present. Similarly cobalamin you know cobalamin is a vitamin B12 which is attached to this coenzyme then only we call it a co cobalamin cyanocobalamin or something like that. So this cobalamin that is present here this cobalamin ribo switch controls the synthesis of this vitamin B12 right. So that is another example of ribo switch glycine and cobalamin ribo switches are very common uh, in our body. So this is how the ribo switch works and I hope that this video helps you to understand ribo switches. So if you understand that very well please like this video hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this share this video with your friends in social networks thank you.